Hey everyone, Coach Ernesto here from KP Futsal. So happy to be back with you. Today, I'm going to be going over what are the futsal positions. But before we get started, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. Make sure you stick around till the end because what I'll do at the end of this video is I'm going to go over a professional match so that you can see how the positions work even in the 3-1 formation uh, in a high level match. All right, everyone, here we go with the uh, futsal position. So um, as stated before, what I'll do is I'll go over all the positions and then um, we can discuss each one of them. So uh, obviously the, the goalie is going to be one of the positions and then you're going to have four field players. Uh, one of them is going to be the fixo. Another one's going to be the, uh, you're going to have two alas. One's going to be the, the pivot or the target up top. So we'll go each, over each one of those. So I can show you this here. This is um, the three one formation or the diamond. So as you can see here, we got three in the back. You can you can set this line of three here. This fixo or the closer doesn't necessarily have to sit so far behind, but that you have a line of three defenders here, and then you have one forward up top or what they call the pivot or the target that's going to mainly be moving up top and uh, looking looking to, to to move the ball up and receive it and maybe hold it or take someone one on one. So. Um, we obviously have the goalkeeper, again, line of three, and then the pivot up top. Um, the wingers on, on each side, or the alas, um, are almost like midfielders. They'll be moving up and down. Um, and then the fixo is more of a person that thinks a little bit more defensively. But know this, that they're also going to be moving up to help the attack. Again, each player, what you have to understand is that each player is 25% of the team. So... If you think in terms of 11-on-11, uh, 11 11, you have 10 players, 25% of the team is two and a half players. 50% in in, uh, in outdoor is five players, where in futsal is only two players. So um, each player on the futsal team has to understand, you know, I play offense and I play defense. Now, each one of them will have their own characteristics um, uh, as you do in outdoor, but um, they'll have their strong points. They'll have, you know, their weaker points. But we'll go over as to where you want to kind of put each kid. Um, again, this is more for uh, youth soccer players moving into futsal and uh, kind of starting to learn and, and adapt to futsal. This is probably the easiest one. Again, it's going to offer depth. It's going to offer width uh, with the two wingers. Um, these two will be moving up and down, pivot or the target up top. And yeah, this, this is probably the most basic formation that you can give and uh, an outdoor team moving into futsal or still a, a young uh, futsal team that's uh, adapting uh, to futsal since they've mostly been playing out, outdoor. Um, this is going to offer the, the best positions for, for them. So moving into uh, the fixo again, this is the, the Sierra, they call it in, in Spain, or the closer. So they'll be furthest back. It's almost like a um, well, they're going to be a very strong, defensive-minded uh, uh, individual. Think almost like a, like a center back. Um, they're able to play defense, but also go up and, and help out on the attack. Uh, but they're very strong, um, uh, fast, strong, quick, uh, and can, can defend. That's going to be the, the main thing that they're going to be doing is defending. But they also have to know that they also have to start the attack. So um, in, in futsal, again, one player is going to be 25% of the team. So they're going to have to also receive the ball from, from the defense and start the attack. Um, again, they're going to have uh, the characteristics of a center back in, in outdoor. The alas, there's two of those. So again, the 3-1 or the diamond formation, you're going to have one on each side. These are like wingers in outdoor. They're going to be moving up and down, playing offense, playing defense. Uh, we call it a universal player because... You know, you want to be able to, uh, to have a player that can defend, a player that can play defense, um, and, and also help out on the offensive side. You want that player to be fast, elusive, uh, dynamic, quick, uh, obviously very good uh, ball handling skills. But again, uh, almost like a midfielder moving up and down, up and down the court the entire time uh, and helping support both sides. If the ball's on the offensive side, they're going to be helping support the offense. If the ball's on the defensive side, they're going to be helping the defense. Next one is the pivot or the target. Uh, they call it the pivo in, in Spanish uh, or in Spain. Um, again, a very strong offensive or offensively minded individual. Think of like a forward 
uh, number nine in, in, in outdoor. Um, although in in, um, in futsal, they're going to be playing with their back to the goal a lot. So it has to be a player that's comfortable with that uh, in, in receiving the ball. And once they receive the ball, probably with a defender on their back, right, it's going to they're going to have to create their own shot. If, if they can, they think they can turn and face that individual defender and take them on one on one. If uh, if they're outnumbered then they may have to be able to hold the ball uh, and, and they have to be a strong player to hold the ball and also distribute once the, the offense gets up, th those allies are pushing up. They're going to have to uh, uh, distribute, distribute the ball to them. Uh, so, again, same characteristics as a forward, uh, like a number nine in, in outdoor. Uh, so thinking uh, and, and moving on about this and I'm sorry, delete that. Um, thinking in regards to the, uh, the football positions and the diamond formation, uh, remember that all players have to have great movement. Uh, they have to be very dynamic uh, positions, got to move around from one, uh, one side to the other, from defense to offense. Uh, but they all have to think offensively. They all have to think defensively, including that pivot, that people. They have to be able to come back and, and defend. Otherwise, you're only going to be defending with three players. Um, rotations. Uh, this is more for a higher level team. If, um, so as you're introducing the kids to this, um, the three, one formation of the diamond, uh, start thinking about the rotations and, and we can do that in a different video, but there are rotations and futsal that the kids have to learn and, and, and should adapt to. And, but that would be for a higher level. Um, and again, we can make another video on that. Um, but start introducing those as, as soon as you can, as soon as your players are, are ready for that. Um, again, just reminding you that one player is 25% of the team. So if uh, one or two players are not moving up, that's 25 to 50% not on the offensive side. If they're not coming back to defend, that's 25 to 50% of the entire team not defending. So uh, make sure that the kids are understanding that piece, that they are a team, they attack as a team, they defend as a team. They should know that already from outdoor, but I think in outdoor they kind of – it's a little bit more laid back because there's so many more players on the field and the field's so much bigger that uh, some of the kids sometimes get lost, especially the, the, the kids not at a higher level. So um, make sure you're, that you're uh, helping them understand that. All right, so let's take a look at this video real quick. Uh, Brazil versus Japan. Well, we're going to start out with, as I'll set it up for you, Brazil is obviously in the yellow and blue. Uh, Japan is in the white. Uh, Brazil is defending What's going to happen in the sequence is they're going to they're going to steal the ball. They're going to get the ball back, and then uh, they're going to start their attack. Number four player right here for Brazil. This is their fixel. So this is like their center back. And I want you to see kind of how he plays. Is that his position? Although he's the the center back or the fixel, he is going to be also an attacking player. And then I, I want you to also see the two alas and the and the people up top. But I want to see. So that I want to show you the transition that goes between uh, the players, their movement, and kind of uh, their mentality of how they think, you know, offensively and defensively. All right. So here we go. Have a bit more belief in themselves so there's the there's the people right there with the ball. I'm sorry, the fixo. And there he is again. The fixo just got the ball right here. So this is the fixo. The people is actually up top. So this is like their forward, their number nine. He's actually over here, but because they were on defense right now, they got the ball and they're transitioning over to offense. But again, every single player has to has to think offensively. So this is the fix. So receiving the ball down here, but obviously he is the person highest and closest to the goal. So he is almost like the, the people right now or the, or the forward. You see that right here? What we're going to have is one of the alas gave, gave the ball to him. Now he's going to rush up top because the, the people or the forward got caught up down here, right? But he also knows, hey, I got to get up there as well to help out. So this here's the sequence. He's got the ball. He thought, hey, maybe I can take this guy one-on-one. -on -one. He did. And now he's going to obviously try to take uh, distribute and make a pass. So that was number four. Who passed the ball. He was the fix. So it's almost like their center back. But there he is again. He's up here. He's got the ball. He's going to play it back in. Their pivot right here, their forward, is now made it up high, right? Now he's up here. They're kind of. Uh, balancing it out again. Now they're going to get kind of back into their positions, but again, not static. They can move around. So here he is, Delight. plays the ball again. back. The pan right. looks like they're playing zone right now. Oh, man to man now. Gabriel. Oh, zone. 
So again, number four, Fixo up here with the ball. The two allies are over here in the back. Here's their Pivo. He's still thinking offense. Why? Because they have the ball looking to attack. One of the allies gets the ball and then starts their rotation. So you see right here, he passed the ball up and now he's going to start his rotation, right? Again, Fixo down here, coming back to defend, forming their line of three right here. Three, one, or their diamond. Two wings, one on the outside, one in the middle. And then the fix on the middle. But watch this guy number four and watch what he does. So again, comes all the way back. Now he is the fix. All right. He is the furthest one, uh, the deepest player closest to the keeper. He is down here, the forward. He came back from his position up high down here. Again, trying to create that numeric advantage. Right. And look at the, what the defense is doing. Right. So they're moving, they're rotating, and the defense has to be able to adapt to all of that. So I want you to keep an eye right here on the on the pivot who came all the way back down just to offer a, a little bit of rotation, a little bit of movement, and a simple pass to him. There it is. Watch this ala right here. He's going to rotate back over here, knowing that the fix this space right here is for the fixo to attack. He could have easily continued that run over here, but because the pivot receiving the ball with his back to the goal, right? Most of the time he's going to receive the ball with his back to the goal. He's just playing it back. So he stopped his, his run up high, right? Because they can't attack this space right now. And they're going to leave it there for the pivot to go back up. Here's the fixo again, uh, deepest man um, that creates uh, the diamond or the 3-1. The just continues. Watch what happens. Again, here goes the pivot moving back up high, right? Trying to attack this space over here. Watch what he did. I wanted you to see this right here. He made a pass, and now look what happens, right? He starts his run because this space is open. He can attack this space, but then he sees he did not, he was not going to be able to beat this defender because this defender uh, adapted to it really, really quick and reacted. Look, he's going to cover this space over here, not going to allow him. So watch what he does. He's just going to stop, come back, right back to his position. And then the Pivo instead is going to go up there. Watch. There you go. So he stopped. He stayed back. We just play the ball back. Again, line of three here stays. They continue. Exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted these defenders to move up and press higher so they can create some space back here and they can attack it with their people. Remember, they have the people up here somewhere. They wanted this line of three to attack and create space back here. Gabriel. Boom, right there. They created the space. This guy made a rotation here. This guy started pressing over here. Brazil created the space right here so that the people could receive the ball. Boom, right there. There he is. Exactly what they wanted. They wanted all this space over here, right? People receives the ball with his back to the goal, but then turns, right? And now can attack. Now they have all this space to attack. Ball over here, two defenders over here. And now let's see what happens. Everyone rushing back. You see that? Obviously, the defense is trying to run back as quickly as possible. The ally gets the ball here. He sees one on one. Let's see what he does. Takes him on. And that's what created the chance right there, guys. That's exactly what you're looking for. So you're looking for that line of three to create a numeric advantage all the way in the back. Make that make the, the defense pressure you high. Get that space uh, on, on the final third so that people can receive the ball with his back turned to, to, to the goal or wherever, receive the ball and then start the attack immediately. And that's what you're looking for. The other thing is, too, that, that you saw the players movement, the three in the back kind of moving, rotating, not staying just in one spot, but moving around. And then the fixo, the, the furthest man, uh, man uh, the deepest one, uh, when he had the chance, he, he attacked when it wasn't a smart uh, attacking um, opportunity. He went back to his position of, of fixo. And that's that's kind of what we're looking for.